Welcome back, wealthy people, to a new episode on the Wealth Up channel, where we discuss everything new around Tesla, the Cybertruck, and other EV news. Today, we will take a look at the top 10 future EVs that will be incredibly popular. Make sure to leave us a like if you're excited and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Plug-in power is here to stay. This year will bring a tidal wave of new EVs. Here are the most exciting of the bunch. 2021 Mustang Mach-E With the Mach-E, Ford turns the Mustang, its muscle car nameplate, electric. The crossover has four doors, a Mustang first, along with room for gear and groceries. That's not to say the latest Mustang is docile. Opt for the performance edition and the Mach-E will hit 60 miles per hour faster than a Porsche 911 GTS. It's good on long haul too. An extended range battery and rear wheel drive model will travel at least 300 miles on a single charge, similar to Tesla's upcoming Model Y compact crossover. Looks wise, the Mach-E has the raised profile of an SUV, but still sports some signature Mustang design cues, a long hood, three-part tail ramp, high haunches, and that familiar pony badge up front. From $43,890. GMC Hummer EV SUT One of the most unlikely turnarounds in automotive history, Hummer, the brand known for materialistic gas-guzzling SUVs gone since 2010, is back. In its next incarnation, Hummer, now a nameplate under GMC, will go all-electric with a powerful pair of green vehicles. One SUV, one pickup truck, either offer with up to three motors and up to 1,000 horsepower and a range of up to 400 miles. Removable roof panels, quick charging and off-road capabilities should make for a compelling package. And those still on the fence, maybe pitchman LeBron James, will help seal the deal. The new Hummer will be announced later this year and should hit production next year. Tesla Cybertruck in these strange times, perhaps no other vehicle fits the moment like Tesla's retro-futuristic space machine. Clad in dent-proof stainless steel, it'll be rough out there in the future and flaunting an array of extreme angles. It's like something out of Mad Max. At the vehicle's introduction last November, Elon Musk said his goal was to build a really tough, not fake tough truck. To prove it, he proceeded to batter a prototype with a series of torture tests, including a hurled steel ball that famously shattered its armored glass windows. Musk and co. claimed that the plug-in pickup, which will be built at Tesla's factory in development in Austin starting in 2021, will be powered by up to three electric motors and should hit 500 miles of range with the three-motor model. Get ready to go beyond the Thunderdome with $39,900 for the one-motor model and $69,900 for the three-motor model. Polestar 2 Arriving this fall, the five-seater will bring Volvo Polish and Swedish style to battle with Tesla's Model 3. In the second ride from Volvo's new performance arm, the other, the one, is a hybrid gas electric, and aside from the green powertrain feature, a raft of forward-thinking design elements. Think frameless mirrors and lighter-than-leather vegan interior fabric design to mimic the durability of a wetsuit. A pair of electric motor works with a 27-module lithium-ion battery pack to deliver an impressive 402 horsepower and a range of up to 275 miles from $59,900. 2022 Nissan Aria a decade ago, Nissan launched the Leaf EV, a modest, geeky hit whose sales have reached nearly half a million. In late 2021, it followed that up with the Aria, a more stylish take on emissions-free transportation. The five-passenger crossover features a surprisingly aggressive look, with some swoopy concave surfaces and wheels pushed to the corner. Inside, you'll find an extremely minimal cabin with a low, flat roof and a vibe that Nissan calls a lounge light. The automaker claims the Aria will be able to hit up to 300 miles on a single charge, putting it in striking distance of Tesla's Model Y. Pricing should start at $40,000. 2021 Mercedes-Benz EQC Benz entered the all-electric field with its five-seat crossover, and the result is predictably luxe. 
Nothing about the 402 horsepower machine screams an electric car. No design flourishes like gull wing doors or glowing green lights. It's just pure Mercedes gone electric. Under that classical handsome exterior will be the performance you'd expect too. Two motors will send the EQC to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds, and it should have a range of more than 200 miles on a single charge. Price is to be determined, but we're guessing it's not going to be cheap. The Volkswagen ID4 Volkswagen is getting big on electric vehicles, including a battery-powered microbus, the ID Buzz, that signals back to the Flower Power 60s. But first, we'll get the ID4, a curvy, compact five-seater crossover that should arrive late this calendar year with an expected range of about 250 miles on a single charge. The first ID4s in the US available for pre-order now and starting at around $40,000 will come from Germany. By 2022, they'll be produced for domestic markets right here at home in Tennessee. Volvo XC40 Recharge The Swedes are going greener with a pure electric plug-in version of their polished XC40 crossover. Like the conventional gas-powered XC40, the recharge features a smart, stylish interior with plenty of storage despite the vehicle's compact footprint. Volvo claims that its 48kW battery should allow for over 200 miles of range on a single charge, and its 408 horsepower will provide plenty of oomph. Will that Volvo badge enable it to steal away buyers of the Tesla Model Y? We'll see when the XC40 arrives later this year or in early 2021. Pre-orders are now open, starting at $50,000. 2021 Audi e-tron GT if the production of e-tron GT doesn't stray too far away from the concept shown here, Audi should have a hit on their hands next year. A sleek electric sedan with loads of power and polish. Behind the streamlined body is some architecture shared with the Porsche Taycan EV, with 590 horsepower and two motor GT should hustle from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds and like the Taycan, will be able to gain 80% charge in just 20 minutes. Yes, you may have to fork over around $100,000 for it, but for those who can afford it, looks like Audi will make it worth your while. Rivian R1S Upstart American EV maker Rivian captured plenty of attention with its R1T pickup truck, which made its debut before Tesla's edgier Cybertruck took a bow. Perhaps even more interesting is its SUV sibling, the R1S, due to arrive next summer. Get ready for classic boxy sports UTE styling and ample room, with three rows of seating. Much of the R1S underpinning are shared by the R1T, including four motors, one at each wheel, and three battery pack options, the largest good for range of over 300 miles on a charge, from $72,500. The Hyundai Iconic Electric The Korean automaker is making moves in the EV segment, led by the quiet success of its all-electric Iconic Electric sedan. The plug-in version of the Iconic hatchback, there are also gas and hybrid models which are available now, offer a range of up to 170 miles on a single charge, and has the features you'd expect given its price is as low as $30,000. Fast charging capabilities and lane assist among them. Hyundai recently announced that Iconic will become its own sub-brand with at least three more expensive EVs planned, including a mid-sized crossover, a sedan and a large SUV, starting in 2021. BMW iNext not to be left out of the party, starting next year, BMW is set to produce a powerful compact electric SUV that will be pure plug-in with tons of autonomous features. So far, the only available details come from the concept form, but BMW claims the iNext will allow a driver to choose between boost or ease modes, meaning you'll be able to drive yourself or be driven. Fittingly, the interior looks to be an airy, living room-like space suitable for kicking back and reading books while the car takes care of the rest. And that's it for today. What do you think of these EVs? Which one did you like the most? 
make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This video is brought to you by Neil Glasgow and as always, see you next time wealthy people.